Hi guys, my name is Fernanda and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a back to school video. Now I know a lot of my viewers are from the United States of America and they have their school. I'm pretty sure it's already started. I'm pretty sure it was last week. But here in Canada, if you didn't know, I'm from Canada. I don't start school till the beginning of September, which means I still have like a month of summer left. But I thought I would bring up a little back to school video for those who are getting back into school and want to see some back to school content. So here we are. If you didn't know, I'm actually going into my second year of college. Now everyone thinks literally everyone in the comments that I'm like 13 years old but no that is that is wrong I'm actually 18 I'm turning 19 I actually don't need that many school supplies but there is some things that I still need to get so I think we're gonna go to Walmart we're gonna go pick up some school supplies and I'm gonna give you a haul of everything that I get but before that I also have a back to school clothing haul for you guys so if you don't know what boohoo is boohoo is an online clothing store they've got so much stuff and everything that I'm gonna show you guys today is from their new in section that are actually summer to fall transition pieces and back to school from home looks. I also wanted to say that this video is sponsored by Boohoo and I'm so happy to be partnering with them. So let's just jump right into everything I've got to show you guys because there's a lot to get through. Starting off, we've got this wonderful crew neck. I don't know about you guys, but during online school, I bet you that I won't be wearing that many extravagant outfits. If you guys want to see an outfits ideas video for back to school, let me know and I'll film that for you guys. I feel like I'll be wearing like sweatsuits majority of the time. So I'm really happy that I got myself one of these white crew necks and I think it looks a little bit whiter on camera, but it's actually more of an ivory color in person but it is just oversized it's super soft it's really thick and the inside is fleece so it's super warm moving on i got three of these little tank tops i've only got two of them right now the other one i believe is in the wash actually because i cannot stop wearing it but i'll show you what it looks like in a second i think these are actually supposed to be bra tops even though this is a summer to back to school transitional haul i think these are definitely leaning towards more on the summer side but like i said since i'll be doing my work from home and i feel like a lot of people will be too it's not like we have a dress code at home so i'll really be wearing whatever i want and i think that these these little tops I'm gonna to be wearing all throughout the year because they are so flattering. I actually got this in an extra small just because I wanted it to be so tight and like basically suction cupping against my body. And it just has adjustable straps. I also got it in this green color. This is like a sage. I don't have anything this color, so I'm really happy to have something like this. I wore it the other day with like gold jewelry and I thought it looked super cute. And I also have it in a white because I thought can't go wrong with that. I'll insert some pictures here of me wearing the white one. I wore it with like an all white outfit and it was super cute. As you can see, you can definitely wear it as a shirt if you're more into showing a little bit more skin. If you don't want to do that, you can always wear them as bras. They're super comfortable. It's not underwire or anything. The next thing I got is just these little lounge shorts. These are like a beige color. They're super comfy and they're just long enough that they're not showing my whole bum, but they're definitely shorts that I'm going to be wearing at home when I'm doing my schoolwork on my computer. I've got a little bow at the front and the waist is pretty stretchy, so I really like the way this fits. Obviously, it's a neutral, so it should just match with anything. Okay, for my next two items, I actually got the same thing in two different colors. If you've been on social media, I'm pretty sure that you've noticed that there's been a trend of everyone wearing matching outfits like matching top and bottom so that was kind of my goal with these they're actually both knitted so it wasn't really the material i was thinking of i thought it was going to be cotton but i actually really like the way it looks knitted the top is just this purple sweater obviously you can wear it on your own or you can wear it with the matching shorts but it just looks like this it's oversized and the shorts have a little drawstring at the front and they're actually much longer than i anticipated but when you wear them and they kind of roll up they just end up looking like regular shorts i feel like this would definitely be in dress code if you wanted to wear this to school because they are so long and they fit more like biker shorts than actual like booty shorts. I feel like these would look so cute in an Instagram picture or even because I have two colors like if one of my friends wants to wear the other one I will definitely be taking pictures with them. This is what the pink looks like. I got it in the same size as my purple one so it fits the exact same and here are the shorts once again. So yeah I really like these. I feel like this is also really good for summer to fall transition because even though it is knitted and it is long sleeve and it is kind of like a sweater it is very thin and it's shorts and it's breathable. The next thing I picked up was this white long sleeve crop top. Once again, I don't know what your dress code is like, but at least when I was in high school, I didn't really have a dress code. Something like this that is cropped, that's actually pretty long. I definitely wouldn't get dress coded, especially if I wore high-waisted jeans underneath because my stomach isn't showing or anything. But I think this is super cute. This shirt is just a staple in anyone's closet. I feel like you can really dress it up and make a plain outfit look a lot more interesting by like wearing jewelry or having a jacket. The next thing I got, I actually picked out from the men's section. So it's kind of ginormous and it's also a graphic tee but it says nirvana now if anyone listens to nirvana don't ask me if i know any songs from nirvana because i don't okay i'm admitting it i don't know anything from nirvana but they do make for cute shirts so basically a t-shirt dress on me but i think that this will be super comfortable to wear around the house and i don't have any graphic tees i feel like this isn't really my style considering you've seen everything else in this haul and everything's pastel and like white now i have two more things to show you guys and these are definitely more for the fall even honestly the winter or definitely like november months they are two jackets 
have them on hangers here, but this first one is this, I don't know if it's brown or taupe, kind of raincoat jacket thing. Like in the fall, everyone's layering shirts and sweaters and jackets and scarves and beanies. And I think this would look so cute. It's also fairly long, so I feel like pretty trendy. You can also roll these sleeves or you can have them all the way down. They've got buttons here so you can button it up. And I really like this. I just think it looks super classy. You kind of look like a little spy. And the last thing I have to show you guys, definitely out of my comfort zone. It is a leather jacket. I've never had a leather jacket before. I actually turned 19 in October, which is the legal age here in British Columbia where I live. So I feel like I'll be going out to the clubs a lot and like what jackets do you even wear to the club? I don't know, but I feel like a leather jacket would be something you would wear, which is why I thought I would pick it up. I actually really like the way this one fits, but the buttons and the zippers and everything just seems to be really good quality. So I'm definitely excited to be wearing that and taking pictures in it when I'm out and about at night. And the last thing I got is actually these sweatpants. They're pretty tight fitting. I feel like in this clip, I kind of hiked them up a lot and I didn't really notice until I'm watching this back. So it's slightly embarrassing, but these joggers are really warm and they're pretty thin. So it doesn't make you too hot. So that's everything I have to show you guys for my back to school shopping haul. Let's go to Walmart and get our school supplies because we're not trying to be that girl with one pencil this year. Okay, I'm already to leave and go get my school supplies. I'm gonna go with my mom. We actually just got a new car. <laughs> it's a Volkswagen Beetle. I'm probably gonna make a video on it. So be expecting that. And we just got it like two days ago. So. because I'm here with nobody and if anybody watches me talking to myself prancing around this will be really embarrassing I'm gonna take my mask off for now because I'm social distancing from anyone there's no one near me I'm I've already put on my hand sanitizer but anyways I'm taking three courses this semester so I'm not sure how many like notebooks I need honestly I feel like this little cheetah notebook is kind of fun but I can't tell if it's just ugly or if it's kind of cute I think I'm honestly gonna get it for my intro to media class. I don't know. I think I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to get two five-star notebooks. Talk about embarrassing. Okay, I just finished at Walmart. Hopefully you can hear me or see me. This lighting is so bad, but I'm just gonna go to Dollarama and get a few more things because I definitely don't need like expensive cue cards, for example. So I'm just gonna get some cheap stuff from there. Okay, I think I'm just gonna get... I'm so embarrassed. Wow, I cannot vlog in public. That was a success. Hey guys, I'm back. I've got all my school supplies and I'm ready to show you guys what I got. Okay, first, we're gonna start off with Walmart. I have three little notebooks here. I am, I am taking three different courses. I'm taking psychology, introduction to marketing, and then digital media and communications. So I think what I'm gonna do is use one of these big ones. This is a, I can't stop dropping stuff. This first one is five star notebook. It is 300 pages, three subjects. I'm gonna use this for psychology and take all my notes on here. I feel like psychology normally has a lot of notes. At least that's what it was last semester. So I'm assuming it'll be sort of the same. So that's why I got this big one. As for my introduction to marketing, I also took a different marketing class last semester. So I'm assuming once again, it's gonna have a lot of notes and project based work. So I got this blue notebook. This isn't by five star. Five star is my favorite because I feel like the paper is the thickest, but they only had black five star notebooks and I wanted them to be different colors. So they're like more easy to identify. So this one is from pen and gear, pen plus gear. It's once again, 300 pages and three subject. And this one's kind of fun because it's got little dividers that are like, actually you can hold them. Whereas the five star ones don't. As for the the last one this is such a weird pattern really out of my comfort zone not that a notebook is out of my comfort zone but I normally never get things with like cheetah because it normally screams tacky to me and this may be tacky you can be the judge of that but I thought it was kind of cute it's also really small like this is probably like 100 pages it's literally 80 pages that's nothing but I'm gonna use this for digital media and communications class I have no clue what that class is even like so I don't know if I'll be needing a lot of pages or not but I feel like this is pretty big so I'll get a lot of writing space on each page moving on to pencils I got 
a pretty big pack. It's 24. I am that person that loses all their pencils by the end of the year or in other cases, the end of the semester, the end of the month, you know how it is. So these are the Bic with extra sparkle, obviously, because you think I'm not gonna get sparkle? I also feel like Bic pencils, I don't know, they just, they just hit different when I'm writing. It just looks really soft and smooth, so hopefully I don't lose these. As for erasers, I got the Stedlers, and these are white, so they just look good, they work good. Oh, I almost forgot to show you guys, I got the cutest little planner. In one of my days in my life, I tried making a bullet journal, and I still use that occasionally, but it's more for like fun pages. It's quite a hassle to make spreads and like weekly sheets every single week. So I decided that it would be a lot more beneficial for me to just actually get a planner. I mean, I use Google calendars and whatever calendars on your MacBook that comes with it, but I think something like this where I can actually see it will be a lot better for me. The next thing I got is literally my favorite thing to ever exist. It is these whiteout marker correction pens. If you haven't heard of these or if you haven't used them before, honestly, I don't think they're much of a secret, but like if you haven't used them, you need to get on these. That little roller whiteout, that is so just last year, get, get on these, okay? They're basically like little pens and it's really good for getting in like fine detail because I feel like a lot of times I just mess up like one letter. I don't want to use this whole like tape thing or even that little sponge thing because I feel like it doesn't work as well. These are basically like little pens. You can shake them and then squeeze it out and then it comes out very precise and then next up I got these fine liners these are needle point 0.5 extra fine we'll just let them chill they're also erasable so honestly I don't know how well they're gonna work next up I got some glue sticks I actually bought these because I'm gonna do this like vision board thing and I needed some glue sticks to stick my pictures on my paper but I mean I guess this is still for back to school so these are the ones I got and then I also got these little flags I need to be better at taking notes especially after already experiencing my first year of college I think I've realized how much more intense I need to focus on my notes so I think these will really help next kind of random five gum winter mint this is my favorite flavor obviously for school you need some gum it's a necessity and the last two things that I got from Walmart are some whiteboard and whiteboard markers I really want to get in the habit of using this because I think this will be so helpful to be writing daily to-do lists I think that'll just help me be a lot more productive like things that need to be done today things that are upcoming in the next week like deadlines I can also write YouTube stuff I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it I might just like have it on my desk like this and then just like write on it I also got these pens I definitely didn't need this but I wanted everything Every single color of the rainbow so we've got these fine tip expo markers I got this this is kind of random I thought I could just stick it onto that board there and like add some school supply stuff I mean I guess if you have a locker somewhere you could get these but the next thing I got was a dry erase marker this was only $2.50 so good thing I got it at Dollarama it was like $10 at Walmart and we don't need to be spending our money on things like dry erase markers so anyways got one of these and then I got two sharpies I feel like this is just a classic I don't know what I would need this for but if I did need this I'm stocked up on them and I also got some tape this is gonna be for my vision board thing but also I guess it's stationary school supply stuff so I thought I'd show you guys anyways and I got three more things I just got some Nivea lip balm I feel like this is something that you can carry around in your backpack all the time and I actually don't have any lip balm right now and then I got some little sticky notes these are all pastel colors so very cute very much the vibe that I want to go for it's yellow pink and blue so I feel like these will also be really helpful in note-taking or I don't know studying in general and the last thing was just a pack of cute cards I actually have a lot of cute cards already but I thought I'd pick up one more just in case. I just want to show you guys a few more things that I actually got from Amazon and I got them during quarantine but I think that I'm going to be using them a lot during the year. First of all these highlighters I think I'm missing one there's normally supposed to be another yellow one but these are the Stabilo highlighters they're all pastel so they're super cute for note taking and obviously when you have colorful pens and you have colorful highlighters and school supplies it just makes you want to be more motivated to write stuff down and make your notes all cute and stuff but I'll make sure I'll link them down below and the next thing I have is these ooh Oh hoo hoo. <laughs> I don't even know how to say it. Oh hoo hoo markers. These unfortunately do go through your paper, so it's not like you can really use them if you need something that's double sided. But if you ever need markers in school and you want really good ones, these are super awesome from Amazon. I think they're such good quality. They are double sided, one side's thicker and the other side's thinner. And at the beginning of quarantine, I bought this little sketchbook from Amazon as well. And I really like drawing and like coloring and stuff. So I thought these were super fun to color and draw with. In college, we didn't really do much coloring, but if you are in high school, school or you're into art or 
you know you do projects where it involves you drawing stuff or maybe you're doing a poster board i think these markers are super awesome they're just my binders that i'm going to be using i just have three thin ones i had these last semester so i'm just gonna reuse them but they're all basically one inch because like i said i'm going to be mainly using my notebooks and since everything's online i doubt we're going to be getting any worksheets but if there is any worksheets that i get and i want to print them out i'll have these to put them in and i guess this is the cute little pencil case that i'll be using it's pretty small so i might need a bigger one in this right now i just have a bunch of pens that i also bought from amazon they're just like little fine tip pens i'm gonna also link those down below so yeah that is basically the end of my back to school haul shopping haul clothing haul school supply haul let me know in the comments what back to school videos you want to see because i'm so down to do some closer to september or even during the school year so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like comment and subscribe and good luck in your school year this year because you know what during this pandemic it's gonna be a weird one for all of us Thank you.